Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live with another new pick for you today, exclusively here on Rich TV. Put your attention to LIT, L-I-T in Canada, and P-N-X-L-F in America. Argentina, lithium and energy currently drilling with huge news. And we believe that they are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed with a flagship project in Argentina, the Rincon West project, which is immediately adjacent to Rio Tinto, who acquired their project and their property for 800 million US. We believe this is a huge, huge opportunity for investors. Let's bring your attention today to Argentina, lithium and energy exclusively here at Rich TV. Let's go right here, right now. All right, I wanna bring your attention to Argentina Lithium and Energy. This is their website at argentinalithium.com. And I'm gonna go through as much information as I can for you. First and foremost, they are listed in America on the OTC under the symbol PNXLF. In Frankfurt, Germany, under the symbol QAY3. And in Canada on the TSX Venture under the symbol LIT. L-I-T, great symbol for lithium, L-I-T, you can see here, lithium, L-I, and I'm a huge fan of anything lithium, especially with the electrification of electric vehicles becoming so popular as we speak. High quality lithium, welcome to Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp. Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp is focused on acquiring high quality lithium projects in Argentina and advancing them towards production in order to meet the growing global demand for the battery sector. Huge. The management group has a long history of success in the resource sector of Argentina and a strong track record of government and community relations. So you can see here the lithium triangle and you can see the Rincon and Pasitos and other areas in Argentina lithium properties of focus. You can also click on the corporate presentation and learn more. You can click on our projects and learn more as well. All of this is right on the website and you can see the high demand for lithium batteries and how it's growing and how there's a major mandate to have lithium in countries all over the world by 2030 due to electric vehicles. Now you can see the cumulative lithium ion battery demand for electric vehicle energy storage applications growing exponentially, and the lithium battery fueling the green revolution. The lithium triangle, including parts of northwestern Argentina, produces about half of the world's lithium and hosts approximately 60% of the known lithium reserves. Most lithium is in this area, is in Salt Lake solar brines. Argentina produces approximately 10% of the world's lithium, making it one of the top five global producers in 2020. Government is encouraging renewable energy alternatives. You want to learn more about lithium? Just click on about lithium. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you what the stock looks like. So this is the one-year chart of lit. And we always like to break down all the fundamentals. We like to understand the news. We like to understand the chart. We like to understand the management team. We like to understand the share structure. We're going to break it all down here today. But you can see here, it's been as low as 19 cents. That's like the low, low of the year currently sitting at 27 and a half. They did have some news today and I'm gonna break that down. And it's been as high as 57 cents. So as an investor, there's some huge upside here. It's definitely trading closer to the bottom. You might be able to get it on another dip, but you can see the upside in my opinion is tremendous here to get back to where it's been in the last year, which is about 57 cents. You know, We've got some huge upside to get back to 57 cents from here. Um, Let's just actually do this. So to get back up to 57 cents, we have got a huge gap to fill. And that's what we look for as investors. We're looking for stocks that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. 
with a huge gap to fill. So to take this back up to 50 cents, I mean, huge gap to fill, huge opportunity for investors. And that's why we do these videos to bring you undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities. You can also see the volume so far today is at 82,000 shares. The average volume is 98,000. So you can see that they're starting to really grow their volume for the day after they had some big news. And I'm going to go through the news. Now, if you look at the American symbol, which is PNXLF, not huge volume in America yet today, only 3,500 shares, but you can see it is up 14%. And if we do the one-year chart on them, very similar chart. As you can see here, a high of 46, the high high of the year, and a low of 15 and currently sitting at 22. So once again, another huge gap to fill. And as investors, this is exactly what we're looking for. Companies that have big news, that have huge growth potential, strong management teams, tight share structures with uh, a buying opportunity because they've had a dip like most stocks in this tough economic environment in a, a global tough market for stocks right now and really all investments across the board. But at some point, these will bounce back. And when they do, there's an opportunity here for potentially a multiple for investors. So really, really excited about Argentina, lithium, and energy. Now, I want to show you guys the news. So the news that came out today was really big here. Argentina lithium announces positive results from third and fourth drill holes at Rincon West. Huge news. And this is sparking a rally in the market. You can see here. Argentina Lithium reports positive lithium brine values from the third and fourth diamond drill holes at its Rincon West project in Salt, in Salta Province, Argentina. The Rincon West project covers 3,742.8 hectares of the solar basin located west and north of the adjacent Rincon project owned by Rio Tinto a huge, huge, huge major. The property is currently permitted for up to nine expiration drill holes. The fifth expiration hole is currently in final steps to completion. The brine analytical results from the third and fourth holes have been received and are reported below. So you can see they break down all the stats and the fourth expiration hole has produced our best results to date. Huge, huge, huge news there. Lithium brines start at 38 meters depth, but the exciting results in the interval from 95 meters to 227 meters with lithium values ranging from 334 to 382 mgs per liter over a continuous 132 meter interval. The third hole located in the, in the southern portion of the property produces lower grade brines at the bottom of the hole. Though the lithium potential appears to decrease in the southern portion of the basin, it is notable that we still produce lithium brines while stepping out 1.8 kilometers south from our previous drilling. All of this is in the news today and one of the reasons why they are having a bigger day in the market and starting to create some momentum. Now, we always like to look at everything. So one of the things that we've been looking at is their social media. We want to bring more attention to their social media so you can follow them on LinkedIn. You can also, you can see right here, click on Twitter, and then you can follow them right there on Twitter. So this is their Twitter. You can see I'm currently following them. And once again, they're at ARGLIT, A-R-G-L-I-T. And once again, acquiring and advancing high quality lithium projects in Argentina, ticker on the TSXV LIT, L-I-T, and on the OTCQB exchange under the symbol P-N-X-L-F. So you can see that is them on Twitter. Feel free to follow them on Twitter. They are also on YouTube. There's some videos about them on YouTube. So you can go and learn more about them there on YouTube. And once again, their Facebook right here. This is their Facebook page. I'm also following them on Facebook right here. Uh, the video that I watched for them on YouTube was actually from Market One. So there's a pretty cool video there um, on Market One about them. And here is their Facebook page, uh, Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp. Feel free to follow them here on Facebook. And you see their big news today, Argentina Lithium and Energy shareholder update on recent drill results. And they're breaking down all the drill results. You can even join their Zoom meeting. That's them on Facebook. This is them right here on TikTok. Nice to see them on TikTok. Not many followers, 
Uh, definitely a good idea for you to follow them on TikTok. Once again, Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp on TikTok. Argentina Lithium. And also on Instagram. So this is them on Instagram here. Not many followers on Instagram. So they're definitely looking to get more followers on Instagram. You can see some photos of the properties and some of the drill photos right here on Instagram. Once again, under the name Argentina Lithium. Here on the website, it's a great resource. Just click on investors and you can go to the fact sheet, the investor fact sheet right here. And it looks like this. This is a zoomed in version. And you can see energy from experience and then a nice fact sheet that breaks down the share structure. Obviously, share structure is extremely important to us and our community here. So issued outstanding, 91,221,037 shares. Warrants, 36,406,079. And options, 3,873,750 options. Fully diluted. 132,500,866 shares. Some investment highlights include 70,000 hectares of claims on four solars in the lithium triangle, projects strategically located in pro mining provinces, Salta and Catamarca, near key infrastructure with year round access, aggressive exploration programs in 2022, and continued evaluation of new prospects. This is all in the fact sheet. And some of the major projects include the Rincon West. You can see the Rincon West, which is just adjacent to Rio Tinto, which I broke down for you and told you spent $800 million on the property. So some really exciting opportunities here. And these are just some of the areas that they are focused on so love to know what you guys think about Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. However, we believe this is a project that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, with huge growth potential. And we'd love to hear your feedback about this project and this company, Argentina Lithium and Energy.